Namaste chair yogis and welcome to your chair yoga practice for today. I'm Claire and I'm so looking forward to sharing this one with you. We're working on our balance today uh, and a few juicy spinal movements as well. So if you like this practice today, don't forget to hit the like button and you can press the logo at the bottom of the video to subscribe to the channel. And the more people that like it and comment and engage in the videos, the more people that get to see it and the more people that can join us in the joy of chair yoga. All right, for now, are you ready? Let's do it. Let's get fit where we sit. All right, let's get going. Let's start in sitting mountain. So get yourself comfortable and move a little towards the front of the chair if you can so that you can feel your sit bones are still grounded. When you move forward, you might need to shift your feet a little bit forward so the heels sit underneath the knees and your middle toes pointing forward. And then let's lengthen the spine up nice and tall. Imagine there's a string coming up out of the top of your head, drawing you up towards the ceiling. And let the shoulders start to roll up and back and settle down into the back. You can repeat that a few times if you like. Mmm, feels good. And then let them settle down. If you want, you can have your hands facing down or maybe up on your lap if that feels better for you today. You can even have them beside you, palms facing forward if that feels nice. Remember just to tune into this moment. What is it that you need right here and right now? Go with that. And just pick your toes up off the ground and spread them out nice and wide. Keep the balls of your feet on the ground and then place your toes back down, maybe one toe at a time to the floor. And then from there, ground down a little into those press points and feel how that energizes your body from the bottom of your feet all the way up to the crown of your head, becoming strong and stable and solid and secure like the mountain. Then from here, if you feel comfortable to close your eyes, you can, you can let them soften if that feels better for you onto a little gaze into the distance. Whatever works for you or yourself. And from there, just feeling into that sensation of sitting tall on the chair, grounding into the earth, lifting up towards the sky, being centered and present in yourself, here as you are right now. Mm. If you want to, you can affirm with me, I am the mountain. I am strong, stable, solid and secure. I am the mountain. I'm strong, stable, solid and secure. Feeling that embodiment of those words, the energy of those words, and the energy of the shape that you're holding. I am the mountain. I'm strong, stable, solid, and secure. And then when you feel ready, letting the eyes gently open if they were closed and bringing your hands back to your lap if they were somewhere else. And then from here, we'll start down at our feet today, lifting the toes back up off the floor. And let's start rolling the toes. So we'll go from the little pinky toe, one toe at a time, coming in towards the big toe. Gently letting the toes move. See if you can get them to move one at a time. And then we can go back the other way. Big toe, middle, third, fourth, pinky. One more time. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll come back from there, we'll lift up onto the balls of the feet and we'll take the ankles one direction and then the other. So just keeping your knees sort of in the same line and moving the ankles, but just as far as feels comfortable, of course. Little dance side to side with the feet. And then from there, pressing them down into the floor as you lift the balls of your feet from the floor and then lifting the heels again and then pressing them down to lift the balls of the feet. And maybe under your hands, you're feeling those muscles of your legs switching on as you're doing these movements. 
and coming back. Now come up onto the heels, lifting the balls of the foot, take the toes out to the sides and then back in towards the middle. Toes out to the sides, back in towards the middle. So that little dance we were just doing, but a little bit different direction and a little bit of a different movement on the ankle. And then we'll come back down onto the floor and tap the balls of the feet on the floor. Just tap, 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 tap. And then just tapping the heels on the floor. Feel that little bit of impact, which is so, so good for our bone strength. So just feel that little drop into the heels. And then let that rest. Take a breath and release. Then from here, let's move up a little bit into the legs. Let's come into the hips. And today we'll take our feet out a little bit wider apart and then we'll drop them in towards the middle, the knees in towards the middle. And then we'll gently open out the knees to the side and drop the knees into the middle. And open out, and drop and don't forget to breathe all the way through everything you're doing. It's a little bit important. <laughs> That's it, opening up and in. And again, gorgeous. All right, pausing there, walk the feet back in and lift the knees so they face forward once more. Then from here, we'll slide our right leg out in front. The toes can pull back and then bring that foot underneath the chair. You can take it back as far as feels comfortable and slide it forward and bring it back. Maybe the hip, the knee drops down a little bit. Watch, of course, the bottom of your chair and the rungs of your chair and things. Just making sure you've got a smooth passage. You can also lift your leg up if that feels better for you to avoid any bumping into things on your chair. And then we'll bring that down. We'll do the other side. So we'll stretch away and we're going to draw it back in. Maybe let the knee drop if that feels okay for you. Just get a little bit of that hip extension going on there as well as the knee extension knee flexion and a little bit into our ankle of course as well back and stretching out we'll do one more i think that's even on each side yes <laughs> and then we'll come back into the center let's give those knees a little loving right now let's give them a little rub one way then the other and then underneath the knees, give the back of the knees a good massage. Mm, yes, the same. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Into the sides. Yeah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> now let's bring our hands to our hips and lengthen the spine, ground the feet down. Oh, wow. How do your legs feel? Mine just feels so wonderful right now. I'm just feeling all that energy and the heat that we've been creating. And all the joints feel really um, warm and juicy. Let's take a breath in nice and tall. On the exhale breath, lean up and over towards the right and then start to circle forward. And then come out towards the left and moving back. So if your hands are on your hips, you might be able to feel if, you're, if you've got your fingers at the front of your hips, as you fold forward and around, you might feel that little squishing of your fingers into the hip crease. Let's change direction. Keep the spine beautiful and long and make sure your head's not rolling around side to side. Mm. Little engagement in the pit of the belly. Come back into the center. Take your shoulders up and back and down. Gorgeous. Now from here, taking your left hand to the inner or maybe the outer right side depending on what feels comfortable for you and taking your right hand to the hip or maybe the lower back or maybe the back of the seat if that feels nice let's take a breath in and grow tall and on the exhale feel the twist happen without pulling on the hands feel the inhale give you lots of space through all the spine feel the exhale give you that softness no pulling, just moving with the breath. And exhale. 
then just keeping your hand as you are, turn your shoulders back towards the front. Take your right hand to your hip, your shoulder, a cactus shape, or we can maybe extend it further, but see how you feel. We're gonna inhale, let the arm reach upwards, and on the exhale, take a side bend to the left. Inhale, we'll come back up, and you can do your arm however works for you, and then over we go again. And again. Good. And then this time when we go over to the top, let's circle that arm or elbow down and around until we can catch either the inner thighs or maybe the outer thighs of both legs. So it's going to just depend probably on your arm length as to where you want to take your hands. Then from the inhale breath, draw your chest through your arms and bring your shoulders back. So extending the spine. And then exhale, tailbone comes down and let the head drop. On the inhale breath, you can pull with your hands a little bit. Draw the chest forward and up. And then on the exhale breath, slowly bring it back. And inhale, forward and up. Coming back. Do two more just like that. Inhaling and exhaling. And again, inhale, last one. Mm, nice. And exhale. And then slowly let your hands lift up and come back to back with your palms. Maybe you'll keep them there. You might. Take your, so let's have our left hand underneath the right now. That's it. And then elbows might come together. You might decide to hold forearms or shoulders or even weave your arms around. Coming into our eagle arms of your choice, whatever one you want. Don't forget, you got to be you. So if you just changed your arms because I changed my arms, go back and think about it. Is that exactly what you need or is that just because you're copying me? <laughs> Choose for yourself, yeah? Okay. Let's take a breath here into the upper back, back of the shoulders. Good. Now on your inhale breath, release the arms out nice and wide to whatever feels um, good for you. Bring your hands into your hips or maybe the lower back or the back of the chair. And inhale, expand up through the front of the chest. Lift the sternum, take another beautiful breath here. And then slowly release through that upper body. And let's do the other side. So we'll keep our feet grounded. We're gonna take our right hand, maybe on the inner thigh of the left leg, or maybe on the outer side, depending how that feels for you. Left hand to the hip, lower back, back of the chair. Now notice if you've pulled yourself around already, if you have a temptation to pull, take your hands off, turn first, and then put your hands there. Okay, so we're gonna go with our breath. So breathe in, and on your exhale, turn towards the left and let your hands settle. Don't pull. <laughs> Let's take another breath in tall. Feel the length, feel the expansion of the torso and the spine, and exhale, feel that gentle movement. It doesn't have to be much. So no force necessary. And this is the first time we've really rotated to this side today. So, you know, let's take it easy. Next time you inhale, slowly coming back around to the front, but keeping your hand where it is, or if you need to adjust, feel free. Bring your hand, uh, left hand to the hip, the shoulder, your cactus shape, whatever works for you. We're going to start by going inhale and then exhale over. And then we'll do a few repetitions of that, coming up and down. You can kind of use that hand on your leg as a little bit of a grip so that you can keep yourself steady and push your leg back into your hand. And then you've got this little nice stability through the hand, the leg. Good. And then this one we're going to end up landing our hand onto our leg from wherever we are. Maybe it's on the inside, maybe it's on the outside. We're gonna inhale and draw the chest forward through the arms, elbows move back, shoulders lift, pull back. And then exhale, we dip in. So this is our cow and cat movement with a little arm twist. Inhale forward, 
exhale keep the shoulders down try not to hunch them up inhale and exhale feel that pelvis moving forward and back as you shift the sit bones rocking forward and then the sit bones rocking back one more time And from there, we'll come to sit up nice and tall, lift the hands up the leg, and you should have your right hand under your left now so we can take back-to-back -back palms. Maybe we'll take elbows to touch, maybe across, maybe we'll take the shoulders, or maybe we'll weave around. And remember to choose what works for your body, not mine, but yours. Take a few breaths into the upper back, the back of the shoulders. And then on your next inhale breath, just releasing your arms out to whatever width feels right for you. And we'll bring the hands again down to the hips, the lower back, or maybe the back of the chair for a little back bend. Expand up through the sternum. Take a couple of breaths into the front of the body. Being careful to just tilt the head a little bit up, not all the way back. Maybe just gaze to where the roof meets the wall and keep your feet grounded down to support your spine. One more breath. And as you exhale, release through that upper body, come to sit tall, take a breath here. And breathing out. And then bringing your hands together and just circling through, so we're in a little prism and circling through the fingers in one direction. And then circling the other way. That feels so good today. I've been doing lots of computer work this week. Then we'll interlace the fingers and turn the palms forward, stretch through the hands, relax the shoulders, bend the elbows, make it more about your fingers. That's it. And then from here, bring that in and just change the interlace to the other way around. Press the hands forward and up if you would like to. Remember, you can keep them forward if that feels better. You can have your elbows bent. You can lengthen your arms a little more if you like. But keep the shoulders relaxed. Take a breath in. And exhale, slowly bring those hands back down. Take your time. Just letting them land gently onto the lap. A breath here to feel into everything we've just done to let it settle into the system now from there let's keep our left leg where it is and we can pick the right heel up off the ground you're welcome to keep it to the front if that feels better or maybe move it out a little bit towards the left you can keep it connected to the floor, or you might like to let it lift off the ground and take a hold either underneath your thigh or maybe on top of the thigh. Flex the foot. If you want, you can take it further to the side, but keep this leg as our utmost important sitting mountain in alignment. So pressing down into that leg is gonna give us all the support we need while we move around this other leg. Then this left hand might come to the hip, the shoulder, or somewhere out to the side and you can decide where you want to take yours for today. You're welcome to also turn your head towards the left if that feels all right for you. Now me, uh, make sure you're in the middle of your sit bones. Keep lifting up out of the pelvis, the crown of the head, like that string that was inside your spine, lifting up. Hmm. I just saw a lot of you move your hand to your head like a string coming out of your head. <laughs> now from here, let's take a breath in. Start to move your leg towards the center. Bring your hand in. Now remember your foot can be down on the floor or up in the air. We're going to take this left hand to the inner, maybe underneath, maybe over the top of that right thigh, right hand then to the hip, the shoulder, or maybe you want to twist and let that arm move out behind you somewhere. Decide what feels right for you. Taking another beautiful couple of breaths here. Feel again that centeredness on your sit bones, that grounding into that bottom foot, and that lifting up of the crown of the head towards the ceiling. The next inhale breath, let's come back around to the center. 
Now from there, you can keep your leg up or place it down. Whatever works, let's raise our arms up towards the ceiling. Or stock pose. Shoulders soft, breathing in. And exhale, we'll let that leg come back down. Now you don't have to touch it down, you can touch it down if you want. Otherwise you can slide it back underneath the chair, lift it off the ground and then let it find the ground. So you can practice a little balance transition if you want to. Then from there, we'll keep both feet grounded. So on the ball of the back foot, we feel nice and steady side to side. We're gonna breathe in and on the exhale breath, press back through the heel of that right foot, press down through that left foot, and maybe take your hands down beside your hips like we do in arrowhead pose. Feel the sternum is lifted, so be careful not to roll forward through your shoulders. Lift your shoulders up and back and down and let the fingers lengthen away from you. Take another breath here. Now we're going to move back into that stork pose. So press into the front foot, lift your back foot away from the floor and bring it forward, lifting it up or leaving it on the floor, whatever works for you. Maybe the arms will raise up again and you can flex that front foot. Take another breath here. And exhale, we're going to let that foot land down and let's take it out so that the knee faces the side wall. Now, from here, you can either keep your leg where it is, or maybe take it across a little closer, cross it over at the ankle, try not to move this leg. I know we're working it, but we're gonna give it a rest in a minute. Or bring it up onto the thigh, whatever version works for you today. Do that one and flex the foot. Remember to choose what's right for you today. All right, now from here, ground down into that bottom foot again. We're gonna take a breath in. If you want to, you can let your arms float up. You don't have to, you can keep them at your heart and breathe. That's a beautiful movement as well. Take a breath in at the top. As you exhale, you might like to let your hands separate like branches on the trees, reaching outwards to the side. On your inhale breath, perhaps the wind blows your branches a little over to get that side bend happening. And then coming back to the center as you exhale, inhale to the left. Exhale to the center and inhale to bring your hands together and exhale to your heart. Now let's pause here for three breaths. And you finish that third breath. Bend the eyes as they closed and release your hands and carefully take that leg off to the ground. Let it land down. Beautiful. Now maybe just take a moment here. Feel the difference side to side. Can you feel any difference between the right and left sides now? Hmm, I can definitely feel a difference. Let's do the other side and balance ourselves out. So let's press down now into that right leg and that's going to be the leg that stays strong and stable and solid and secure, just like the mountain. Let's lift the left heel up. You maybe wanna stay here, that's absolutely fine. You can do everything we just did with the leg on the ground here, maybe on the ground out to the side a little bit. If you want to pick it up, Take your hand behind, take your hand over the top. You can lift it a little bit more out to the side if you want, but be careful you don't lose your alignment. You don't lose this bottom leg alignment or the spine. Hand could come to the hip, the shoulder, maybe somewhere out towards the right. You might look out towards the right shoulder if that feels right for your body today. Oh, relax the shoulders down. Feel that, remember we wanna have that effort, but we also wanna find that ease within the effort. So unclench your jaw, soften your eyes, shoulders, fingertips on that outstretched hand. All right, now take a breath in and as you exhale, 
Bring that leg back in and the arm in. And we're gonna change direction of our twist now. So remember the foot can be touching down or in the air. You can have your right hand underneath to support. You could have it over the top to support. We can have the left hand on the hip, the shoulder, or maybe extending out towards the back. Now remember before when we did that side bend and we're kind of pushing our leg into our hand, our hand into our leg. We can do a little bit of that here. It's not forceful push, but it's just that resistance in opposite directions. It's gonna give us a little stability there. Don't forget about that right foot as being the base of our support system. Really utilizing that foot on the ground. Take another breath here. When you inhale this time, come back around to the front and release your hands. And if you feel like you'd like to, lift them upwards towards the ceiling, grab store pose. Feel the shoulders soften. Take a couple of breaths. Leg can be up or down, whatever works for you. Oh, and then slowly start to come down. We're going to shift the foot back so you can touch it down and walk it back or you can float it back and under, letting it land onto the ball of the foot. Then from there we'll ground down into that. We want to press back through that heel and up through this front leg as we support ourselves to let the body shift forward a little bit. Now the hands can come either to the hips or maybe extend beside you. Feel the shoulders roll up and back and down into the back. Land them down. It's almost like you want to take your shoulders down to your lower back, down and out through your fingertips. Chin and chest, that fist distance apart, making sure we have that beautiful neck alignment. Great, now our inhale breath is going to bring us back to stork pose. So we can lift the back leg up, sweep it through or walk it through and come into your variation of stork pose. Flex that foot because that'll give your leg a little bit of energy. Shoulders can be relaxed. Take a breath here. And then let's land that foot down and we can land it down and open the knee. So onto the side of the foot, you can bring your foot closer in, you can cross it over the ankle, flex the foot, or maybe bring it up onto the thigh. Again, make your bottom leg and your spine your priority, and of course your breath. Flex the foot, bring the hands to the heart and either stay here and breathe, or maybe bring your hands somewhere up above your head or in front of your face. Take a breath here. Next, how to open the branches of your tree. As you inhale, let the wind blow you towards the left side bend. Inhale, center, exhale, center, sorry. And inhale to the right. Ah, center again, and then inhale to bring your hands together. And exhale to bring them to your heart, center again. Three beautiful rounds of breath. you're ready, just letting the eyes lift, taking the leg gently away if it's somewhere you need to help it down, use your hands to help. Take a breath here. And take another breath in and as you exhale, just come forward a little bit, keep your palms on your thighs or maybe bring your forearms to your thighs. We're just going to stay here just for a couple of breaths, just to let the right and left sides balance out. Feel the breath into that lower back. Hmm. Now you inhale, breath press through your feet and slowly come back up again. Just. Now let's keep the uh, let's walk the feet in a little closer together this time. And you're welcome to keep your feet as they are to do this one, or you might like to press down to that left foot, lift the um, right heel away from the floor, maybe stay there, maybe cross the right ankle over the left. Again, we wanna to try to keep this left leg as the 
the steady one here, the sitting mountain leg, we'll call it. <laughs> Hug the thighs together wherever you go, or maybe cross up and over. Some people can bind around, so feel free to wrap that ankle, that foot around the leg if you want. But again, check this first, because this is gonna be our priority, and our spine as well. All right. From here, we'll come back to our eagle arms again. So this time we've got right under left, maybe back to back palms, maybe elbows, maybe forearm, may, or maybe um, shoulders, maybe weave around if that's what your body wants to do today. Do it your way. All right, now wherever you are, relax your shoulders a little bit. Take a breath in, let your spine grow nice and tall. Keep your arms as they are and turn your ribs around towards the right. Feel that gorgeous little twist through the upper body. Take another breath in here and out. And then inhale to come back into the center again and exhale to land and then inhale to let your arms open out and exhale to bring the hands behind you. Now you can have them on your hips your lower back, or maybe clasp them together this time and expand up through the front of your chest. Draw the shoulder blades back towards each other. Feel the breath ground into that bottom foot. One more breath. And slowly release through that upper body. Take a breath in here and as you exhale, just a really, really gentle bend over your leg, really soft and gentle, and inhale to float back up again. And then we'll unravel that leg, bring it back down, check you're in the middle again. If you need to adjust, adjust. Notice the difference side to side. Hmm. So interesting. It always feels different every time we come back and check in. Keep the right leg where it is this time. Lift up onto the left heel, perhaps. Maybe stay there. Maybe cross over. Maybe come up and over and hug around if you want. It's up to you. Knee, middle toe, and inner hip are lining up. And again here, we might have, you know, that little bit of um, pressing against each other to give you that nice stability. Left under right, back to back palms, Elbows touching, um, holding elbows, holding shoulders, or weaving around, whatever works for your body, do it your way. Take a breath in here. Let's add our twist. So turning everything, the arms, the ribs together, the head, turning around. Just do as far as feels comfortable. It might feel different because we've got our arms in this position. Taking a few breaths here. Watch the legs. And then the next inhale, come back around to the front, keep tall, exhale to land and inhale to release your arms. Good, now bring them around behind you, maybe interlace the unusual way if you choose to interlace, so whatever the, your normal way is, go the other way. And then open the chest, inhale, keep pressing down through that bottom foot to keep your lower back long, little engagement in the pit of the belly. Beautiful openness in the shoulders, chest. One more breath in. Use your exhale to release your arms, your chest. Breathe in to grow tall and then just a slow fold over the leg. And then inhale to come back. And we'll slowly unravel the legs, bringing them back into the center. Walk the feet to sitting mountain. Take a beautiful breath here. Now from here, we're gonna breathe in and as you exhale, fold forward over your legs. Now, this time you might want a little bit more space for your belly if you need it. Um, so see how that feels for you. We're going to come forward. You can have your palms on your legs. You can have your forearms on your legs. You might even take your hands to the top of your knees. You might take your hands somewhere else down your legs. You might wrap one elbow and the other around your knees and take a hold of your arms, maybe on the wrists, the forearms or the elbows. And if you feel comfortable to wiggle yourself down 
Then with your hands or your arms, wherever they are on your body, on your legs, pull back towards yourself so you feel your spine lengthen forward. Remember before when we did that uh, movement and we moved our chest forward through the arms? See if you can do that here. And then if you want, you might get a little bit more length to move a little further. You can drop your head if that feels okay. Keep grounding the feet so you're supported. But soften anything else you can let go. Maybe that's, again, coming into the face, softening the jaw, softening the forehead, the head, um, the eyes, shoulders. Making sure that you can breathe wherever you are. There's no competitions to be anywhere. So just choose what feels right. And if it's a, something completely different, it doesn't matter. Just do it your way. Another gorgeous breath into the back of the body. And if you have your hands holding the elbows, release your hands down towards the floor as you exhale. And then inhale, start to come up, but lengthen the spine first. So let the sternum come forward, chest lifts. Take as many breaths as you like to slowly creep yourself back up again. Deep breath here. And breath up. We'll do one more forward fold. So this time you can do the same if you like. If there's another forward fold that you like to practice, go for it. Um, or you might like to bring your feet out in front, the knees bent, the toes pulling back. Take a breath in. On this one, I'm gonna bend my knees a lot because that's what I really feel like today. So do it however you want with whatever distance you want. We're gonna breathe in and fold forward again over the legs. Again, you can have a bit more width of your legs if you like, and just come forward again. You might wanna do that little lift of the sternum, that lengthening, and then folding over your legs. Hands can hang, they can be on the legs somewhere. Yeah, they can be on the feet, they can be on the floor, if you have long arms, they can be on your thighs, wherever. Don't focus too much on where the arms are. Focus on getting that gorgeous length in the lower back, the flexion in the hips, and that soft and gentle breath to calm and cool the body down. So if your breath isn't like that, then change your body and allow the space for you to, you to breathe. And wherever you are, just take another two beautiful rounds of breath. And slowly on your next inhale, whenever that comes, just gently start to make your way up again. Again, you can use your hands on your legs. You can lengthen your spine, pressing up slowly. And then walking the feet back, settling into sitting mountain for a breath here. Just notice all the effects of the practice we've done today. How does it feel? And when you're ready, you can either stay as you are or you might like to wiggle yourself back and relax back into your chair for a little rest time. So to be able to rest efficiently, we need to be somewhere where we can feel relaxed. So find your way into that spot. Feel the shoulders roll up and back and down. Maybe turn the palms up on your lap or maybe down beside you, hanging, relaxed and soft and heavy, whatever works for you. Feel the body start to soften into the chair. Breath by breath, just letting go more and more. Each breath helps you to melt, to relax into the chair. Breath in. 
into this place of rest where there's nothing to do but just be here. What a relief to no longer have to do anything, to no longer have to work, move, but just to be, to allow ourselves this moment of rest, something that we don't do enough of. Enjoy this moment of rest and I'll let you know when it's time to return. Just stay here longer if you choose. Stay as long as you like. If you'd like to return with me now, you can bring your awareness to your breath. Maybe the breath deepens naturally as you bring awareness to it. Notice that gentle expansion, contraction of the breath. And follow that movement of the torso that expands through the rest of your body, lighting up all the cells and bring your body back to life again. Each breath you take. When you feel ready to move, you can wiggle your fingers, your toes, and if there's any other movements that you want to make, feel free to make those. There's no rush, but we'll meet each other back in sitting mountain, whenever you're ready, doing whatever you want on the way there. When you arrive in sitting mountain, just pausing for a breath or two here, just to feel into that experience, feel into the class, practice how it was for you. And we can bring our hands up to our heart center. And then bring the base of your forehead to the, uh, your thumbs to the forehead for kind thoughts and kindness in the way that we see things. To the lips for kind words and kindness in the way we speak. And to our hearts for kind and loving, compassionate spirits, intentions and actions. May all beings everywhere be held with love. Namaste everyone. Thank you. Thank you.
you so much for joining me in that practice today. It was absolutely lovely having you here. Don't forget to leave your comments below if you want to connect with me. Any feedback, suggestions are always welcome. And I look forward to seeing you next time on the chair. Bye for now.